Natalia. And I'm Maddie, and we're going to teach you how to hit a backhand. We'll break it down for you step by step, but first we'll show you how a backhand should look. Let's start with your grip. The grip is really important, because if you don't have the grip right, then you'll never hit the shot right. Just about everybody today uses a two-handed backhand. If you're a right-handed player, your right hand should be on the bottom and your left on top. The right hand is in what's called a continental grip. Some people call it the hammer grip because it's kind of like taking your racket and hitting it into a nail. For me, the easiest way to make sure I have the grip right is by looking at the bevels on your racket. The top is number one, the first angled side one is two, and the back one is three, and it goes all the way around the grip. When we start to put our grip on for our back hands, we want to make sure that our index finger knuckle is on the first angled bevel number two. And we put our left knuckle on the back of the racket. Make sure your hands are snug together. You don't want any gaps between them. Now we're ready to hit some balls, but first we're going to start one-handed. This is to teach you one of the most important things about a two-handed backhand. Most people think that the right hand is the dominant one of the two, but it's not. It's actually the left. Yeah, the left hand is the one that provides the majority of the power. The right hand's just there for guidance. Now I'm going to bounce some balls for Natalia. And I'm going to hit them left-handed. First, we're going to put the grip on that we talked about earlier, and then we're going to remove the right hand. Think of it as a lefty forehand. Now, I'm going to hit my backhand with two hands. But to keep my right hand from being dominant, I'm going to have my pinky out. When in doubt, pinky out. Now I'm facing forward like I'm going to play the point. And I'm going to give her a few more drop feeds. Go. Go. And go. Now I'm going to hit my backhand with two hands, the same way I do it in a regular point. Notice how she'll start with her racket head below the ball, and she finishes over her shoulders, creating topspin. I'm going to feed her some from over here now. She's ready for feeds from this side of the net now. There are a lot of things that make a good backhand. We'll show them to you as she hits.
We hope you enjoyed our backhand video. For more videos like this, please visit JuniorTennisUSA.com. See, See you on, on the, the courts! courts.